Hi everyone, welcome back again to our channel. So from today, we are going to start a data engineering project in which we are going to build a data pipeline where we have to move a CSV file or any files from our local system to AWS Redshift. Okay. So for this project, we require Python as our infrastructure okay so we will write all the codes in the python so what will be the structure of our project so here i have defined the architecture of the project as first we have a csv file or any file is located in our local system okay here is our file and our end goal is to transfer this file into Redshift serverless data warehouse. Uh, why we are using Redshift serverless? Because it is uh, the uh, service which is uh, currently given by AWS Free Tire. So, in the next video, we will talk about how to uh, set up a new account for AWS Free Tire, which is for valid for one year. Okay. So, our end goal is to move our local file to redshift serverless so but we so we cannot do this directly we cannot move our local file directly to redshift serverless so first we have to put it on the s3 okay so first we have to put it on s3 so here it this file will come and after that redshift only accept file from s3 so from s3 we will load the data into Redshift and our work is done. And for all these purposes, we will use Python. So for all the purpose, we will use Python. And one added things we are uh, adding in our project is we will also create logs for each state. That means you can see that uh, when your code is running fine or not and if any error occurred what was that occurred what was that error so we will capture all these things in our logs so this is the whole structure of our project so we have local file and we have to move it into redshift serverless so we are using s3 as intermediate and we will kept all the logs in our local a mysql device or uh, you can also use any other uh, host to uh, store logs so but we are we will use only local system so i hope you have understood what will be the structure of our project okay so we will meet in the next video and in the next video we will make our first aws free tire account okay because we have to do all the works in AWS and Python. So, in the next video, we will create AWS free tier account. And parallelly, you can install. You have two tasks. One, install Anaconda if you have not. Okay, because we will write all the codes in the anaconda or you can also choose any ide of your own choice in which python can run okay so to run code we will install anaconda and second thing we will have mysql workbench okay so these two things we need to do all the coding parts okay so i hope you have understood so make sure that you have completed these two tasks and in the next video, we will create our AWS free tier account. So, thanks for watching this video. We will meet in the next video.